Hi everyone. Um, we're just going to do a quick round of quickfire questions with our consultant John Hazelden around Microsoft Entra and all the news that came out from Inspire. John, thank you very much for joining me. No problem, Ben. Thanks for having me. No worries. Let's jump straight in. So, Microsoft Entra, John, is it just a name change? Essentially, uh, yes, it is. Um, Microsoft is now bringing Azure Active Directory under their Microsoft Entra family of products, um, which is you know their identity and access management services. So Azure Active Directory has now become Microsoft Entra ID. Nice, nice. So with this, uh, are we going to see changes into AD, Azure AD, and hybrid? And what does that kind of what does that mean for people already using those services? So anyone already using those services, essentially, there is no technological change underneath. Um, it's mostly a name change, as well as uh, you know a visual change uh, from the Azure Active Directory portal, which is now the Microsoft uh, Entra Admin Center. Um, They've changed uh, the way that it's structured a little bit. Um, they've categorized some of the features um, under four or five main headings. But other than that, underneath it all, uh, it's exactly the same. Cool. So, well, something that customers probably should go and have a look at, because I think the last thing they're going to want to do is go try and make a change in their in their Active Directory, Azure Active Directory, and walk into a completely new portal and, and then have to figure out where they're looking. So definitely something for them to go and go and look at and, and check out. Um, thinking about customers, one thing that I hear a lot from, from our customers is that they're either considering going on a journey towards zero trust or they're on the process of implementing a zero trust framework. Uh, where does Intra fit in to, to zero trust? So if you think about zero trust, it's um, it's anchored on three uh, guiding principles, which are uh, verify explicitly, use least privilege, and assume breach. So if we talk about the first two of those, verify explicitly uh, links in with um, identity and access management and Microsoft Entra, uh, for example, using things like conditional access. So you're constantly verifying users and devices um, as opposed to trusting them and then letting them let them go and do whatever they want this is like a constant verify like always verify so when they move from maybe one application to another they're getting re-verified whether that's they have to provide mfa or you know some other uh, authentication method uh, biometric etc um, that's happening constantly so that's one thing the second thing use least privilege is essentially just giving users uh the permissions that they need to do what they need to do and do not give them any more. And it's also time bound. So when you're thinking about a zero trust model, you think about just in time access and just enough access. Awesome. awesome. So definitely something that if people are on that journey, they should be looking at the enterprise product set if, if they're already utilizing it. You know, it uh, sounds like it's a, a tool that needs to be utilized. The I think the other thing that I hear a lot is people asking the question around with the Microsoft Entra suite, where the connection and crossover points with the Defender suite. So you know, Microsoft are bundling these 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 families together of, of products, and, and I get asked a lot: Is there that crossover? Where are those anchor points where those two meet? Yeah, essentially, with uh, Microsoft products like. Uh, Entra and Defender, they're highly, uh, highly integrated. So Defender even has its own um, product under the Defender suite called Microsoft Defender for Identity. So a lot of the information that Defender gets around identity comes from uh, Entra. Nice. So a, a clear connection point for those people that are not only looking to manage their identity, but also start to, starting to wrap a um, identity-led security stance, very much what Defender is from from Microsoft. Uh, those it sounds like the two two families of products are going to become uh, very kind of interlinked and entangled, and we're going to see a lot of people using both products at the same time to deliver you know various identity-led security security kind of stance points. 
Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, just to you know summarize those, if you're working to a zero trust model, um, you know, the entry product, the defender products, they will allow you to, you know, develop that model and, um, you know, uh, apply all the um, all the restrictions and all the security that you need, uh, you know, to facilitate it. Awesome. Well, that's it for my quick fire questions, John. Thank you very much for giving us a insight into Entra. There's been a lot of noise in the market around it, um, and it's good to get a little bit of clarity. I must admit, I've, I've learned a lot from our conversation. Um, so thank you, everyone, for joining us today, and uh, keep an eye out for another quick fire questions. Cheers.